Well, today, August 7th, is National Purple Heart Day. The military medal is awarded to soldiers in the armed forces who have been wounded or killed. Almost 1.1 million Purple Hearts were awarded in our devastating World War II. Among them, the 100-year-old veteran in the San Gabriel Valley I had the honor of meeting today. If I talk about my combat mission, we'll be here all day. The military story of retired First Lieutenant Edward J. Lopez starts in downtown Los Angeles almost 81 years ago to the day, and it reads like a Hollywood script. August 13, 1942, I hustled myself off down, down to the Pacific Electric Building, and who was joining the Army Air Corps at the same time? Clark Gable. This then 18-year-old native Angelino set out to make his own mark as a World War II fighter pilot for the Army Air Corps' 387th Fighter Squadron known as the Hellhawks. I had hundreds of hours in the air by the time I went into combat. Lopez flew more than 100 combat missions and from his son's hangar at the San Gabriel Valley Airport, where Lopez feels most at home because of his flying days, he tells me about the day that earned him a couple of these medals. August 30th, 1945, he was almost shot down by the Germans. A bullet or a piece of shrapnel came through my canopy and grazed my skull. If my head would have been forward a little bit, it hit me in the temple and I wouldn't be here today. The shrapnel struck right above his eyebrows. And it had so much blood flowing and it flowed all over my eyes. I had to wipe my eyes to see my gun sight. Wounded with clouded vision, Lopez persevered. But the Germans were shooting, shooting up. I, I made a 360 degree turn and come down on them and managed to obliterate a couple of half tracks and gun emplacements. For his heroism, Lopez was awarded the highest honor, the Distinguished Flying Cross, and for his wound, the Purple Heart, for which he is nothing but humble. I feel sorry for those guys who got their Purple Heart the hard way. Lopez went on to serve in the Korea War, 11 years of service in all. His many honors on display at the hangar that's decorated with Lopez's wartime memorabilia. As you can see, that's the Purple Heart. Gabe is one of Lopez's five children. The veteran's late beloved wife, Maria, passed away in 2018. The two were married for more than 60 years. The Lopez family, rooted in Arcadia, couldn't be more proud of their patriarch, especially his July 17th milestone when he turned 100 years old. The Los Angeles Angels honoring their lifelong fan. Lopez says after a century, he most enjoys reflecting on what once was with the most grateful Purple Heart. Every time I wake up in the morning, I say, well, wow, thank God for giving me another day and see how lucky I've, I've been throughout my life. I, of course, asked him what is his key to his longevity. He says maybe it's because he never drank or smoked, but I think his positive outlook has something to do with it, too. Thank you, Mr. Lopez, for your service.